Hi friends, today we're talking about one of my favorite fish. Who's this? It's Nemo. And look, I have a story to read to you. It's called Fish School. What color is Nemo? Orange and white. He actually has a little black on him too. Okay, Fish School, let's see. Every morning, Nemo's dad, Marlin, would take him to school. Along the way, Nemo always liked to ask his dad lots of questions. What is a whale's tongue like, Dad? Nemo asked. Well, it's kind of big, and Marlin said. How many clownfish can eat in one gulp, Nemo wondered. Well, I guess it depends on the size of the, Marlin stated. Actually, why are we called clownfish, Nemo asked. You're not funny at all. Nemo saw his best friends, Tad, Pearl, and Sheldon. They loved to play tag and algae in the middle before school started. Mr. Ray was on the schoolyard duty that morning. He was everyone's favorite teacher. Nemo and his friends had a special song they made up just for him. He's our favorite teacher, hip, hip, hooray, for the big spotted manta, we love Mr. Ray. Oh, let's see. Then it was time for school to begin. The first class of the day was music, taught by Senor Seaweed. Nemo and his classmates were getting ready for the spring concert. Nemo played the conch shell. Sheldon played the clams. The clams didn't like it very much. Sheldon played, oops. Tad strummed along on some kelp and Pearl played the sand dollar tambourines. Look at that. Whoops, I have butterfingers. <gasps> Mr. Ray taught science. Today's lesson was your ocean home. Mr. Ray called on Nemo. Where do you live, he asked. Anemone, I mean Emony. I mean, said Nemo. Nemo lives in an anemone, said Mr. Ray. Well, the rest of us would be hurt by its stings. Nemo brushes himself against the anemone every day so the stings don't bother him. The rest of the class looked at Nemo in awe. That's right, Nemo said proudly. Then it was lunchtime. There were a lot of lunchroom rules. No inking in the lunch area, no throwing worms, no eating your classmates, no matter how tasty they look. Nemo took out his lunch. I'll trade you my kelp sandwich for your algae pizza, he said to Dad. Yum, said Tad. After lunch was recess, yay! Everyone had fun playing hide and seek, but then Sandy Plankton got into a bit of trouble. It's like my dad always says, said Nemo, it's all fun and games until somebody gets stuck in a giant clam. Once Sandy was free, it was time for Nemo's next class. It turned out there was a guest teacher that day, Dory. Hi, Elmo, she cried, waving to Nemo. Dory was teaching the class how to speak well. Repeat after me, she instructed. What did you say? The class asked eagerly. I just said hello, Dory, exclaimed. Then it was show and tell. Pearl brought in a cool piece of coral she had found, and Sheldon the seahorse had some big news. His dad was having babies. Who wants to go next, asked Mr. Hermit. Nemo raised his fin. Today I have some very special visitors for you to all meet. Come right in. Anka, Bruce, and Chum swam in. Please tamiche, said Chum. Don't worry, kids. We don't eat fish anymore. Well, we try not to anyway. After a brief question and answer period, the sharks left, and everybody breathed a sigh of relief. All too soon it was time to go home. The students filled into the schoolyard to wait for their parents to pick them up. Nemo couldn't wait to see his dad and tell him all about the fun things that had happened. They sang the rest of the Mr. Ray song as they waited. He's our science teacher, we think he is swell. Sometimes we act goofy, but he never does yell. Aw shucks, said Mr. Ray, looking pleased. Soon Nemo's dad arrived. How was your day today, son? He asked Nemo as they swam home. Oh, dad, it was awesome, Nemo cried. Sandy got stuck in a clam. Dory taught well, and I brought in the sharks for show and tell. He paused to take a breath. I can't wait till tomorrow. Marlin shook his head sadly. I'm sorry, Nemo. I can't let you go to school tomorrow because tomorrow's Saturday. Did you like that book? I like that book. So look. Today, we are making a clownfish. Check him out. He's got some white stripes, some black. We're not gonna add the black today. But I love Mr. Nemo. And look at this. This used to have water in it, but the water evap 
evaporated, meaning it went away. But look in there, there's Nemo and some of his friends. So Nemo is a clownfish, okay? So a clownfish, like we said, is orange and white. Today, what I need you to take out of your packet is this fish with the blue tape on it and your orange paint and get a paintbrush and you'll have one googly eye and a marker or a crayon to add a mouth at the end. What you're going to do, now this might get a little messy, so you'll need to wash your hands when you're finished. You're going to dip your paintbrush in the paint and paint the whole fish orange. Go right over the blue, it's okay, okay? So we're just gonna go like this, go all over, it's okay. Use your helping hand to hold the fish. Okay, I'm painting, I'm almost done. Okay. Now, when you're done, your grown-up might, will probably have to help you with this part. Look, I made all the white go away. Now, what you do is you pull up the tape. Look at that. It made a white stripe, just like a clownfish. And you pull up the other piece of tape. <gasps> wow, this is coming out great. And then the last piece of tape. Look at that, it's okay if it rips it a little bit. And now you're going to let it dry. Actually, I'm gonna use a wipe to just wipe my hands so I can finish this crap to show you. Now I already made one, you see? Look, it's a pattern. Orange, white, orange, white, orange, white, orange. And now you're going to add your googly eye, he's looking at you sideways, all right? So you only see one eye. Let's see. Ooh, that eye, it, it's always tricky. Ah, I got it, I got it. I'm going to give him an eye. Then I'm going to take my marker or crayon and give him a happy face, because he's happy. And there you go, you have a clownfish.